a good day. We got the prairie lands. The prairie lands. Every once in a while, God does a thing. So, we better catch that before it's too much trouble. Alright, so I had a message for the day. And, uh, let me balance this. Oh, okay. So on the theme of let's catch that. The day. Dun, 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 dun. So if you're like me, I don't know how the schools are this way, but you grow up in the schools, they don't tell you. Oh my god, the fucking valley. Dun, 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 dun. So, yeah, anyway, if you like me, if you grow up, they don't tell you about the problems that you got to solve. And, if you grow up, don't tell you. For me, 20s research, like, oh shit, all the nation states are quite in debt. I don't know, you know, how much debt people like to tolerate. I don't like to be a single dollar in debt, you know what I mean? So, I was doing some pencil math. It depends how many actual taxpayers there are. You know what I mean? Like, some people pay like $5 in taxes. But you know what I mean? Like, if you actually pay a huge chunk of taxes, it's at least 3000 a year. That's for everyone who pays taxes. 3000 a year on interest that you're paying. And you guys know the prices are going up every single day. I heard average breakfast in England right now is 35 pounds. When I visited England, 35 pounds was like a new pair of sneakers. So, just saying, you know, there's a whole history to it. If you study it, they chip the coin, this, that, the other. The empire falls, they get greedy. So, we just kind of went through, like, the heroic rise be like my granddad's generation then uh not to point fingers you know the after party and then sort of the uh greedy rot and then here we are riding it out and there's a lot of things happening it's not like the youth are triumphant the whole gen z uh, and not to point fingers because it's the the actual soul is way bigger than the generation they're riding but you know they're losing their way with the tiktok and the attention span and they're confused and there's um, a sickness, um, Ayn Rand spotted it in the 60s, but there's a sickness that always overcomes the people where they um, value the tribe and their emotions more than the truth, and it starts to get really weird. If you ever watch um, Hunger Games, the people in the city don't want to become like the people in the city. You want to be one of the people of the valley. You want the animals to come to you. Um, they know heart. Heart's a real thing, and you want your heart. In your heart time, you want it to be like felt in, I don't know, the whole county that you're in, you should be holding space for your whole county, at least. Um, when I'm in a city, the crime rate will drop. You can track it. Um, and it has an after effect, but if you leave, I don't know. Sometimes you just let them go. <laughs> so, just let them rip. Um, catching it. So, catching it. So... You know, what would you do, you know? In 2012, I gave the max to the Ron Paul campaign. I never voted in an election, but I voted once in the, um, I know he has issues. I know he could be more eco-savvy. I know he said some weird things in his 70s or the 70s. I know, no one's perfect, but I thought his message was important. The fucking finances are a big problem. Let's fix that. And then personal freedom. Let people make choices. It was a good enough platform. So I got behind it. I gave the max to his campaign. I think it was 2,500. Hit those money bombs. I got so excited. Every money bomb. I was young. I didn't have that much money. But like, I was like, the fucking money bomb. The money bomb. I was like, how much do I have? I was like, I got 300. I got 700. I dropped a few love bombs. I got a love bomb in China. I got a few secret love bombs where I gave some big gifts. Um... Anyway, so I got so hyped on that. 
I could let me tell you guys some funny stories just because it's funny. So he had said some racist things, which I didn't know about. Like all I knew was the fucking finances were a big problem. He wanted to fix it. And he, he didn't have the sickness of the, he was a, a truth seeker. He didn't have that weird sickness and he was going to give people their power back. So I was like, all right, I'm in. We need it. It's a huge fucking problem. Let's fix the fucking finances. You know what I mean? How many of you know uh, baby boomers who until now knew about the finances? I read the whole Austrian school. Those books are boring. I read them page by page. I did my homework. You know what I mean? Cowardness, greed. So, come on. If you want your health, you got to cook that. You have to stand for your lands if you want your health. It's a fact. We'll go gentle. It's spring. We'll be happy. Um, and, um, oh, God. Ron Paul. Okay, so I'm wearing this, like, bright green shirt with the Ron Paul face. And I'm at this club. And um, these big guys on the football team are, like, about to pick a fight with me. I didn't know. He had said something racist. I didn't know. You know, I try not to pick on people's worst moments. He was about freedom. So their girls saved me. Um, at the time, I actually hadn't gone through my martial arts phase. Um, so, but I don't know. I just, I wasn't that scared. But there are like five of them. And they actually wanted to do the thing. They wanted to fight. And I didn't back down. I just kept arguing. I was just like, I was like, what's your problem, dude? He's like, he's for freedom. And he's trying to fix the debt. They're like, dude, I know what he said. I know. And then he's like, I know what you're about or something like, I don't know. You know what I mean? It wasn't like a rational argument. Like they kind of wanted to fight and maybe they were right. Maybe Ron Paul was kind of a jagaloon. I don't know. You know, he's, you know, the Pauls are a little weird. I like, I like Rand, but there's something a little weird. Uh, you know, I try to take people's best sides. So his girl stepped in. They had a beautiful, beautiful two I don't know who was with who, but she like came and put her hand on me and she's like, and she handled it. Um, there's a better story. I was reading, um, I'll go on and on. I know you guys got things to do, but I was reading an Ayn Rand book because I used to go argue with the objectivists and um, who I love, some of the best people I've ever met. I truly love them. If they were in charge, it would be much better. If I were in charge, it would be even better. Um, you know, they actually value the truth. They actually have morals. Um, which is a huge step up from your leaders today. There's a few, but generally your leaders are part of the rot, the infested. I don't like to use words like this in the meadow. It's filth. There, there's filth here we need to scourgeify. So I'm reading an Ayn Rand book, and, um, and I have the moral, I could tell you. That, okay, let me just tell a story. So I have the moral right to give a huge middle finger to these people I'm about to talk to. They have followed me so many times. They are not of the valley. They are of the sickness. And they are sick. They're sick. They're in the doctor's office every day. I haven't been to the doctor since 2011. Don't copy me. Don't sue me. Don't do what I do. You probably can't handle it. You'll probably fall in the ditch. Um, but let me get back to the point. But my body does things. I'm alerted. I have a high-tech system. Their, their physics is so far behind. What my body does isn't even in their system. I could tell you guys some stories. So I don't listen to them. They're of the sickness. Their entire base presumptions are false. Caveat, I'm in healthcare. I love these people. Some of my favorite friends are these people. I will help them. You know, I'm just ahead right now. You know, and respect. You know, um, they saved my mom's life. Respect. Um, they're good at shit. They're smart guys. They're some of, the, some of the best people on the rocker doctor. So back to the point. Ron Paul. So I'm... I'm reading, uh, what was my favorite Rand book? I wasn't reading one of those. I was reading, um, the thing about art. What did she call it? In her opinion, there's an objective view. Is it aesthetics? There's a correct form of art. I tend to agree with her. I would splice it a bit. Romanticism. You want to uplift the people. I never watch horror films. You know, that's just horrible. Um, you could splice it though. You could nuance it. Um, Dune was a good movie, and the Dune series is the best creation I've seen on Earth as far as fiction. I read all those books like five times, um, and he's a real G. He lived out in the Pugin Sound. 
So, back to the point. I'm reading an Ayn Rand book. I'm wearing that same shirt. It was obnoxious. It was like lime green, Rand Paul. At the time in Wisconsin, because I lived in Madison, normally I was the only one up because the whole town were drunks. So, uh, but I guess they scheduled to be up that day. So they come up to the Capitol. I'm sitting there reading. And, um, you know, they're cheese, cow curds, whatever they call it. Whole place smells like manure. Um, and, uh, little too indulgent I'm just saying you guys aren't flossing and I'm reading oh, fuck I think it wasn't even that book it was a better book it was like the perfect book for the day um, I read all of her books multiple times some of them are very dry her epistemology is way off and um, like not even close not even readable no offense I have won all the arguments with the objectivists they don't have a case against me. And, okay, so it, it was a governor. I don't know if the governor was good at the time. I didn't watch TV or pay attention. They had a Republican governor. He did something with, like, um, I don't know. He was probably trying to solve the budget problem. He probably stepped on some toes. The teachers. He teachers. How could you dare? I want to, oh, my God. I went on a date there with the teacher. Dude, I... That was one date. It was my choice, but, dude, it was one date. Um, so you know how the public school systems are. No innovation. A lot of my family are teachers. I'm trying to be delicate, but also come from, like, something that works. You know what I mean? They just let shit rot. So I'm sitting there, and it's a protest against the governor. And so they start marching around me. I mean, not around me. I'm just, like, a side event. And I'm chilling. I, I plan to leave. It's just like, you know, I had my coffee. I'm riding out the buzz. <laughs> I got like another five pages to read. So they circle once. They circle twice. On the second time, one of them notices, like, the kid's reading Ayn Rand. He's got a Ron Paul shirt. This is not, you know, <laughs> this is not one of our guys. And uh, um, so the next time around, he says something. And they don't fight. They're not honest people. So he says something dirty. He takes like a slur. You know what I mean? They are not about the truth. They do not fight clean. So he didn't come at me with a fact. He didn't come at me with anything. I'm chilling. It's Saturday. I'm young. I don't have problems. So I started having fun with it. And uh, he comes around again. He says something even nastier. So I had him off the next time. And I just undercut his position. You know, he's got like a sign or something. I'm just like, and, like, and kindly, I'm just like, I was like, you're entirely false. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, he turns his head and says something really fucking like. And so what I do is I, I take my book. I'm wearing the Ron Paul shirt. And I have like a book of reason. And I just start marching against them. I just do like 100 yards because like, I don't know. I got better things to do than pick fights with people like that. Um, I'll tell one more story though because it's on the next boulevard. So I, and you know, of course they say the nastiest things. I'm just like politely undercutting them. I'm just like, no, that's false. That's false. You didn't think very hard about that. They're not even coming from, they're not even coming from trying to know the truth. So you can't argue with them. They have a, uh, they're driven. I mean, if, if I got shaman with you, you wouldn't want to hear it. But just even in basic psychology, they're just driven from their wounds. I'm wounded. I'm a coward. I want to subscribe to this tribe so I feel like I have an identity rather than guard my own truth. All right, last story I'll tell because it's the same block. So if, if I'm on the Capitol walking this way, the next story is six years later, four years later. Just catch your breath for a second. This is a good fucking story. So at this point, I'm a clear audience. I'm not clairvoyant. And... um there's a race riot going on. And uh, it was like the first summer where everything got real hot, 2016. You know how like for a few summers, everything kept bubbling up? Mind you, I've initiated into the tribe, the tribe in Buiti, um, in Gabon. I am multidimensional where I know of my brothers and sisters in my other suits. I even identify as the whole creation. So to me, there's a lot that has to get cooked with this racism, but like I'm trying to keep the peace. Um, to be frank, uh, 
some of it is actually Some of it's extra. There's some extra. So what's happening is some extra. Like, well, it's the thing is there's some justice and some fire. So sometimes things have to move. Um, we'll let it go. Who who knows? She was cooking. Creator was cooking. The thing was happening. And uh, but I'm happy to be wearing. No, I'm just coming home from yoga. We had a really good yoga studio, and. Coming home, riding my bike, and I see it. They're marching. It's like, oh, shit. Um, so I get home, and my guides tell me to put on this Ram Dass shirt that says, like, I forget what it says, like, be here now, or, like, I love you. It's some, like, purple shirt that says, like, I love you. At the time, I was real skillety. Like, I was, like, super cut, chiseled, and um, I had, like, a pretty gnar mohawk. It was probably pretty lame, but I thought it was gnar. And, um, it was actually pretty scary. So I had headphones on, one ear on, one ear off, which I learned from my friend. And, um, I don't know what I'm listening to. Something like, you know, some, probably like some like solfeggio tones or something like high vibe. And woo! so I'm just, at first it's chilling. I'm chilling. It's genuinely like, a, this is like not a good day. This is one of the days you know, if you're a peacekeeper for your place, often you do that in your dreams. Sometimes you have to deal with it, like, at a supermarket or, like, actually hold peace or, like, you know, mediate an argument. But today was a day. So I get to this uh, street I was just talking about, and um, I'm riding my bike, and uh, oh, it was actually pretty scary. So they chose me. I kind of looked like the kid who you would choose, like, like it's a race riot. And I don't know if that's the right word. Excuse me if I'm not using the right word. It was a protest. I should probably be so much more careful. And my guides want me to write. I don't know. I'm just trying to, you know, share the fucking valley with you guys. It's Saturday, you know, it's not all jump each other's bones and, you know, just trying to tell a good story. So at the time they had a good reason to be protesting. And, um, but I mean, he, he came at me with a two by four to beat me. So I don't know. Was that extra? But I probably looked like the guy who deserved it. So I got, I wasn't smiling. I wasn't gloating. I was wearing like the expression of how God felt that day. I was like, Ooh, careful. And, uh, um, so it was pretty scary. So he took those, like, those, like, um, at this time, I knew some of my martial arts, but not really. That came later. So, um, like, now if anyone comes at me, it's like, you know. Uh, but then, so he comes at me. He's got a two-by-four. He took two steps. And I'm on a bike. Like, I, it was a narrow alley. And he, his guys were falling behind him, but not really. Like, it was mostly him. But there were at least four of them in the street already. And then... I don't know. I was probably outnumbered 300 to one or I don't know. It wasn't even that. I, I wasn't even, I, that's not even a way to say it. I was literally not on a side. I was just like, literally just, my guides told me to go out there. You know what I mean? I had better things to be doing. I could have been sitting at home counting my marbles, you know? Uh, so I'm taking a risk to, because my guides told me to. And so, um, at the time I had a body intuition system. So I'm clear audience of a body intuition system and my guides don't say anything to me they might have said something at the top of the hill like trust or something but at this point i'm they didn't give me like but i i think my tricep thumped on my left side which meant like go it's more complex than that what it meant but i was like ah fuck so i didn't panic because i had a moment where i could have tried to like <laughs> you know skid on my bike out of there so i tried to look at him and give him what i could you know like bro i feel you this shit's bullshit i don't know i'm on the same team i just want heaven the fuck he literally he dropped his board he took like two more steps and he dropped his board it was a close call like he let me go by um i don't know i think i went home after that i was like okay time to go home so i don't know you do things if you're 
a peacekeeper. I mean, on that same subject, like a few months later, an intersection, because um, the race thing was a big thing, okay? I know I'm in a white outfit. I'm not on a team. In my opinion, we all have codes. Our ancestors did some weird shit. There's a lot, it, it's a really complex topic to treat it with some justice and to do it, uh, you know, correctly. And I'm sorry if I'm not doing it well, but... Um, We'll save this. Um, there are multiple... If you're a peacekeeper in your territory, lots of times you're helping with the collective laundry. I'll just put it that way, okay? So, back to the happiness before I get attacked by people with some venom. I'm just trying to be in the valley, you know what I mean? Uh, so, catching it. That was just some drama, but catching it. The finances, the greed... They are filthy. From a rogue's perspective, you know, our elders are filthy. There's a few gems among them. There always are. But they're filthy. Lousy, louts, sicknesses, flies, illnesses. Don't tell the truth. None of it. You know, just they're just not... You have to... Como un animal. You have to be cool uh, and respect the place and truth and God and whatever. High heart. It's a whole thing. They haven't cooked. Uh, so, how do you catch it? Um, so, back in 2012, I was trying to catch it through the main system. I was like, yo, let's fucking fix the debt. That's why I gave the whole max to Ron Paul. 